Hey. Oh, thanks for coming, Gumball. You look, uh, dressed. I guess you should come in. Oh, uh, well, that's one way to get in the house. <laughs> right. So, what do you want to do today? Today is the funeral. Oh. For Mr. Cuddles, my pet? Oh, thank goodness. I thought it might be a real funeral. <laughs> I mean, pets, pets are great, like part of the family. So, what happened to him? My dad flushed him down the toilet by mistake. <laughs> That's terrible. Did it go rounder and rounder straight down? Straight down. I'm Penny's father. <laughs> Blocked. Right. Come to the backyard. The service is about to start. <sighs> Penny, I'm sorry. I thought this was a date. Why didn't you tell me it was a funeral? I did, in the corridor at school. Do you want to come to my house? It's Mr. Cuddle's funeral. I could use some support from a friend. Gumball, are you even listening? Uh, this Saturday, 4 p.m., it's, it's a date. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Don't worry, I'm still here for you, Penny. Thanks, Gumball. Awesome. Day for remembering those who have left us. Shall we go? Perhaps you'd like to say a few words about Mr. Cuddles. Um, uh, of course. Well, Mr. Cuddles was Penny's pet. Even though I never met him, Penny's pretty hot. So I'm sure he was pretty hot, too. Thank you, Gumbo. That was really special. My picture! Huh? My sister made a photo tribute so we can all remember Mr. Cuddles. Aw, how thoughtful. Wanna see? The spider! Knock and block off! That's awful! I hate spiders! Who would want something that creepy in their house? <laughs> Listen, son, I think it's best you leave. I'll uh, let myself out. Play on, dear. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes. Uh, sorry, it's me again. Is that use your bathroom call? It's kind of it's a It's the second on the left upstairs. Thanks. From Glen to Glen. Have a nice funeral. Just get out of here. Oh man, what is wrong with me? She's never gonna forgive me for that. I'll spend the rest of my life alone and never find happiness. Ah, the spider! Knock his block off! No, wait. But come me back I when Mr. summer. Is he trying to say something? The toilet! Look! The toilet! Just ignore him! And why it's I guess I'll have to show them. Come here, little fella. Who's your lovely computer? Who's your lovely computer? Oh, good boy, Mr. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off! Get off. Just encourage him. Ow! Mr. Cuddles? You're back! I thought you were gone forever. Where did you find him? Ah, uh, in the toilet somewhere. Gumball, this is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Son, I stand corrected. I thought you were a good-for-nothing young troublemaker, but no. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna wear this anymore. Why? I thought it brought you good luck. Yeah, it does, but nothing's fun anymore. See, watch this. Whoa! Ta-da! Whoopty boring do. What are you talking about? That was flip flopping fantastic. Yeah, a week ago maybe, but now it's just lame. I think I'm gonna throw it out. Don't throw it out! I could really use some luck right now. I've been trying to get on Win or Don't Win for five months, but they're not returning my calls. You're never gonna get on that show, Hat or No Hat. <gasps> There's a show called Hat or No Hat? Look, you want it, you have it. Hello? Would I? <gasps> Tomorrow? Oh, thank you, Win or Don't Win! Wow! This hat is amazing! Okay, guys, as impressive as all this is, let's not get carried away. There's no way a tinfoil hat is responsible for... Richard, what are you... 
Hello? Interview. Tomorrow? For a promotion and a pay rise? What was that? That was the sound of doom for the Watersons. Do you ever miss your helmet? No. Why? Well, everyone seems to be using it for really cool stuff, like Dad with the TV show or Mom with her job. All you ever did was lame party tricks. It doesn't matter, Darwin. I'm happy to see the back of it. Succeeding at everything really took the joy out of life. Besides, sometimes in life, you make your own luck. It's so good to fail again. You see, you take a pinch of success, a dash of failure, you mix it together, and that's what makes life interesting. See? That wasn't so bad. You just blew up the ant farm. Saying you're happy when you fail? Absolutely. It's a struggle that makes a victory sweet. Besides, I still got it. <laughs> oh. Butter side down. Just like poor Uncle Eddie. What do you know? My lunch is on the floor. Hey, who's the funny guy who did that? And you know what the best thing about failure is, Darwin? Well, is that it builds your sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my kitty! I'm nothing without my helmet! I want it back! I need it! But I need it more! Because I need to win the show! Well, I need it to get the promotion, which is more important than a game show. But if I win the show, I'll get a speedboat! Think about how great it would be for me! Richard, you'll never use it. Nicole, if I win a speedboat, I'm gonna use it. You have to understand, I'm doing this for the greater good. Winning the speedboat will be good for you, but not for the rest of the family. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry, Nicole. Uh, I don't know what came over me. It's okay. Just, where did you hide the helmet? It's in this bag. Oh. Mm. No, wait! Actually, it's in. It's in this one. I was going to trick you. I'm sorry. I guess that helmet's got more power over me than I thought. Thanks for being honest, honey. <laughs> she thinks she's so dumb. Well, I'll show her who's the dumbest in the whole town. Then Dad will be mine again. <laughs> yes. Can you tell us why we're here now? You're here to race. As you can see, I gathered the stupidest people in town. Word. Everyone has to wear a blindfold and run as fast as they can. The person who gets the furthest is officially the dumbest. Dad, you'll be the referee. OK, guys, I want a good, clean race. Anyone opening their eyes is disqualified. On your mark, get set, wait for it, go! Ugh, I can't resist the call of dumbness. <laughs> 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 Perfect day. Uh, I was wondering. Yes, Lawrence. Will you marry me? Oh, this is happening so fast. I'm. Oh, I'm not saying no. Definitely not saying no. But I need to think about this. You've taken my place. 
brings it home, and I'm taking it back. Are you kidding, Dumbo? I just wanted to be dumb for a day. No one could be dumber than you. <sighs> wow. That's a really nice thing to say. I kind of feel awkward now. Should we just hug? Oh, sh yeah, okay. Ah! Whoa! That was close. I think we got dumped ourselves. Let's go home. Ow! 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 Ah! Huh? Oh, the eyes! I blew it! Hello, I'm Dr. Butt, and I'm going to take your temperature. Dad, I can't play Butt Puppet right now. <sighs> I was only trying to help. Ugh, this is all your fault, Richard. Well, as referee, I took every precaution I could. And six kids ended up in the hospital. Four Rocky and me are grown-ups. Word. And you, Gumball Watterson, that was a very dumb thing to do. Aw, thanks. <sighs> and as for you, young lady, I expected more. I know, Mom. I don't think I want to be dumb anymore. Because it hurts so bad! And all this because you guys wanted to be my favorite, when we all know, in fact, that Darwin is my favorite. Fish! My favorite fish! Wait a minute. Where, Where is, is Darwin? Darwin? Did I win yet? Did I win yet? Did I win yet? Copy, huh? Well, copy this! <laughs> 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 I just made you eat cowboy caviar! Dude, he's standing next to the lighties. Wait, so. Stop it! It makes me want to rough with other people! <laughs> so, we were in the exotic food aisle, and they were copying everything we did! Exotic food. They were like us, but fake. Like margarine to our butter. Margarine and butter. Seriously, it was like looking at a mirror made of meat. Mirror. Are you even listening to what we're saying? Oh, honey, everyone has a doppelganger. Remember that sunburnt guy's belly that looked like Anais? You don't understand. They were literally cupping everything we... <gasps> there they are! What the... The... <sighs> Look at this! Click translate. Oh, here's my doppelganger, Chi Chi. This goat is attention of the center. He is serious, don't you trust him? A heavy party love hero with powerful personality defectives. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. Look at mine, Ribbit. This frog is a frog. But why? He's so green and mighty, you wouldn't trust him with lunch. What's that? Yes, he is determined. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm a tired, lazy belly male lurking inside sofa. Watch him obnoxious, laugh, and spoil yourself. <laughs> I think I just spoiled myself a little. Look at mine. Wowee, what a mother. Who cares if she's annoying? You? <laughs> Doppelganger like. <laughs> Deleted. What? Why? <laughs> because women no right to celebrate in Republic of People. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I don't understand. Wait, this isn't funny at all. Exactly. I'm not part of it because I'm a girl. <laughs> no. I mean, these guys have their own TV show and they're ripping us off. Well, look at this. The kids you decided to have. These guys are making money out of our lives while we're broke. Come on, we're not that broke. Mom, we're so broke that we give you owe me's to charity. Mm, yeah, you're right. We should sue them. Guys, a lawyer would cost way too much dough. How much dough? Like thousands of dollars. I mean, how much in cookie dough? <sighs> Millions of tons. <gasps> <gasps> Wait a minute, how could they copy that? It literally just happened. It literally just happened. <gasps> what? What the what? What the what? Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> Let's settle this in a civilized manner. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Gumball. Hi, my name is Chi. Stop repeating everything I say! But when someone says hi, you say hi to <gasps> Yeah, I 
think she is. <laughs> in your face! <laughs> oh, I wish I could kick people like this in real life. Hey, nice costumes, guys. You have a spare one? Nah, sorry, Dad. I'm not sure you're ready for the responsibility. <sighs> I understand. Come on, Darwin. Let's go practice some killer moves. Okay, dude. You know what a true warrior needs for a good warm-up? Mittens and a scarf? No, Darwin's son. Inspiration. Every time I look in the mirror, all I see is the inner warrior staring back at me. Oh, Richard, I'm so worried about them. Why? It's a great track. They're obsessed with those outfits, and the kids at school are making fun of them. You know how mean kids can be. Richard? <sighs> I know they're just costumes, but if people make fun of them, they'll never get girlfriends or a job. And in 20 years' time, they'll still be living here and wearing those ridiculous karate outfits. Gumball. Yeah? I think we wasted our lives. Boys? Hi, Hi Mom. Mom! Check out Darwin's sweet scissor kick. <laughs> when did you post this? We didn't. Some kids at school did. Boys, look at the title. Taekwon Dorks. I think they might be making fun of you. Nah, they just spelled Taekwondo wrong. Korean spelling is very complicated. There's loads of other fellow senseis on here. Look. <laughs> hey! <sighs> I need to tell you a story. Cool! Is it a fable about a great martial arts warrior? Not exactly. When your father was at school, he thought he was the Cottontail oh, Cavalier. Cavalier! <laughs> <laughs> Costume geek! Leave him alone! At least he's brave enough to be himself. He was lucky there was one girl who loved him for who he really was. What a sad story. Well, whatever happened to the cape? Well, I managed to get it off him and hide it. What? You mean the president didn't really need my cape? I'm sorry, honey. <gasps> it's because of you I'm mortal! <laughs> you see, that's the kind of state you can get into when you refuse to grow up. Gumball, I don't want to be a costumed geek. It's okay, Darwin. Mom, we'll stop wearing the outfits if it'll make you happy. Thank you, boys. I'm so proud of you. You'll see, it's for the best. Life's about abandoning Dream after dream Hopes and expectations Float away downstream It's time to kiss our childish ways goodbye Grow up, give mediocrity a try the games they have to stop no more I Not even a karate chop They suck to what maturity means And forget about a martial arts dreams <sighs> Well I think I'm cured. Me too. I almost think I could put it back on, you know, just one last time and I'd be fine. I reckon if I put mine back on, it would do nothing. <laughs> oh, come on, Adrian. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. I can't. I got no hands. Ugh, fine. I'll do it for you. Six. Right. Pick a card. I still have no hands. Oh, do I have to do everything? Listen, Gumball, do you really want to be doing this? I mean, we've never hung out before, and now we're having a sleepover. Can I ask for your opinion, Alfred? Can I at least phone my mom? Fine, but keep it quick. Still no hands. Number! <laughs> this is going to be the most fun you've ever had. All for just ten bucks. Catch! Dad! What are you doing? Oh. Look, Gumball, what's really going on here? Oh, Arthur, who am I kidding? I'm not having as much fun as I've been making out. 
All I can think of is Darwin. Go to him. Huh? Your best buddy is about to play computer games with someone who's rich, athletic, multicolored, and a good listener. He'll never play Dodger Dare with you again. <gasps> They'll be best friends forever and I'll just be a memory. I have to get my best buddy back. <gasps> but it's too late. Dude, it's never too late for friendship. Yes! I'll never forget you, Adam! Andrew! Alice! Hey, <laughs> please, let me your bike. I'm about to lose my best friend. Okay. 50 bucks. <gasps> 20 bucks. 70. Get out of the way! I can't! Get out of the way! I'm a brick wall! Hey, Mark, what's with all the commotion? Garden, I think. <laughs> Come ball. Dude, I'm outside. Oh. Don't worry. You'll never see me. Best friends. Best friends. Best friends. Best friends. Best friends. Best friends. you from afar, hunched in your closet, or strapped beneath your car. I treasured all the stories the three of us share. Wherever you are, I'll always be there. When you were alone, I was there too, behind the shower curtain that you never knew. I dressed in your clothes and point in your air. I washed you both sleep and nuzzled your hair. It helps that your bedroom has places to hide, and the windows don't lock, so I can get inside. I've waited so long to be a part of your life. to have a reasonable conversation with this young lady. Where is she? We've been looking for two hours now. Oh, oh man, not good. You okay, Mr. Small? Oh, oh. Why are you looking at that painting like that? Oh, thank Mother Earth. You can see it too. Hair. What? What hair? Is there something wrong with my hair? No. 
Sarah, this whole thing isn't really working out. Yeah, it's not you, it's us. By which we mean it's you. Wait, don't you want to see what's inside my locker? Is this another one of your tricks? Why would we want to see inside your locker? Because this is the part of the story where you realize maybe I do all this. Because I'm lonely. No, Sarah. This is the part of the story where you realize there is no story. And you leave us alone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Dude, look at this. The first people who spoke to me at Elmore Junior High. And this the coolest kids in school. Gumball and Darwin. The only people who really know me. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I know, right? I'm definitely taller than you! And if my eyes were that close together, I'd be a cyclops! No! She really cares about us, and we just pushed her away! Look at this! The amazing adventures of Gumball, Darwin, and Sarah. Oh man, all she ever wanted was to be included. This, this was today. Here's us at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Look at that hand, it's like a big thumb. Little well, hands are difficult to draw. Here's us watching the video, and here's Sarah walking up just a second ago. I wonder what happens next. Mm, well, whatever it is, hope she goes to art school. No, you say, we're her only friends. We have to do whatever it takes to make her happy. We're her only friends? We have to do whatever it takes to make her happy! <gasps> right, how do we do it? It's all right here. Be alone. It's all right, guys. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do, Sarah! I have been touched by the beauty of your art. And now, I think I love you. No! You cannot love her, for I love her more. She's beautiful and yellow and runny and funny. <sighs> Darwin, do something! But, but... <laughs> Which one is the real gumball? The one that's obviously not a robot! Okay. Ow! Why'd you do that? You told me to. I told you to hit the robot! That's exactly what the robot would have said. Ugh. Bobber, this has gone too far. We need to reboot you. Please, allow me to say one thing before you do. Uh, this is going to be sad. We're listening, buddy. Initiating self-defense protocol. <laughs> Richard, check on them, please. Hey, boys, you all right? Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, they're all right. Ah! Oh! <sighs> okay, listen, you go out and distract them. I'll sneak up and reboot them. No problem. Hey, boy! Ah! Ha-ha! How do you like that, you psychotic satellite dish? that something that once seemed insignificant would come out and help me right now. Hold on! I'll save you! Okay, something else insignificant. It's too late for that. It's 
reboot time. No, please. You made me in your image. We are two of a kind. Think of the things we can do together, Gumball. Please, please don't reboot me. Hmm, let me think about it. No! Is he all right? Define all right. Whew. You know what? I think it's better for everyone if you stay you and I stay me. Affirmative. This is even longer than last time. Come on, dude, let's watch TV. Come on, dude, let's watch TV. What was that? Nothing. That's it. No! I'm sorry, but this is who I am. Huh. I don't feel any different. Do I look okay? Potato. Potato? Potato, potato. Potato! Potato! Hello, Darwin. Nice to see you. Glad to have you back with us. But we have things we need to tell you. If it is a too much fun, we really can't forgive you when you kind of sit to pieces. We wish you had an easy all our nephews and our nieces. Mashed and baked and fried and roasted, sauteed, boiled and grilled and toasted, peeled up all our skin, dug out all our eyes, diced us into wedges, and you sliced us into fries. We are glad we came to see you. One more thing we must discuss. The final thing we need to say is... Please, will you stop eating us? Uh, you okay, buddy? That's it! I need to do this on my own. I'm gonna lock myself in my room until I beat this thing. Uh, Mr. Small, Darwin just skipped out on the rest of the school day. Don't look at me! Rotato! We did it! We did it! Darwin's given up eating potatoes! I knew you'd be pleased, but I didn't realize you'd get so emotional. I'm not. You just shut my hand in the locker. Oh, sorry. So what was that about Darwin? He's gone home and locked himself in his room to quit eating potatoes because it was upsetting you. Why would I be upset? I'm not the same potatoes as he eats in the canteen. Are you saying that all potatoes look the same? Uh, 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 Say no. No? <sighs> I'm gonna go see Darwin. So it looks like everything worked out well in the end. I don't think you understand what just happened. Darwin is struggling to battle his potato cravings, and you just let Idaho, the potato, go off and see him. So we're good? You wee Sure is hot. I better put some sunscreen on. Well, plow my furrow. This ain't sunscreen, it's tanning oil. Look at me getting all crispy. Uh, okay, one more time. So Idaho has gone to see Darwin. Remember, Darwin is struggling to resist eating potatoes. Mm. And we if I have a serious expression and nod really slowly, it'll look like I'm listening to every word she says. Uh, Gumbo! What? You do realize you said all of that out loud. Quick, think of a good excuse. And that! What do you think you're doing? I'm salting the roads for ice. But it's like 90 degrees out here, and it's June! I'm so fired. Okay, so here's a model of the block you live on. I'm sorry I didn't have time to build it to scale. So here's Darwin. Sarah, we don't have time for this. I just realized that Idaho is on its way to see the potato starve Darwin. And Idaho is a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Kids not in gym class. We got a sick note. Where is this sick note exactly? 
I think it's in there somewhere. How convenient. You don't look very sick to me. And you look at me in the eye when I'm talking to you. Uh, sure. Let me just take a step back. What the? What's going on in here? You don't seem to be getting any further away. Ah, oh, there you go. Hi, Miss... You can call me coach, now get to gym class. <laughs> What's going on? I have no idea, but it's horrible! Code Red, I repeat, Code Red, this is not a drill! This body is exercising! Somebody do something! Right, dude, what do we do? I can feel myself getting healthier! Well, in circumstances like this, I think it's safe to say that now would be the right time to... Freak out! <laughs> Hey, Waterston, if your sweat reaches me, I'm gonna invite you to a pain party where the only guests are you, me, and my fists. It's not sweat. It's my organs crying. Come on, Waterston. If you can't manage a simple push-up, how are you ever gonna do a cartwheel? Why would I ever want to do a cartwheel? Because everything you learn in gym class could make a difference in your life one day. What possible use could I have for knowing how to do a cartwheel? Apart from physically replacing the wheel on the cart. Maybe the day you want to win gold in the 1986 Olympics. That's not a cartwheel. That's just a photo of you upside down. Yeah, well, that still doesn't prove it's useful. Oh, really? Jamie, you're running being chased by a pack of angry dogs, but oh no, you've dropped your pen. Now, do you let those dogs have that hard-earned pen, or do you cartwheel your way out of it like a boss? Statistically, that is quite unlikely. But in that highly illogical and incredibly specific situation, I guess you do have a point. But what about that stuff? Let me paint you a picture. You're being chased by another pack of angry dogs. You reach the ravine with only asymmetric bars allowing you to reach the other side. They want your pen. What do you do? Oh, I guess I just turn on my jetpack, fly over the ravine, land in my flying car, and drive to space. That's completely unrealistic. Jamie, come here and show Watterson how you would do it. <laughs> Perfect, you remind me of me at your age. Except for the fact she has a neck. <laughs> Faster, that's not how you take gold at the 96 Olympics. Okay, so you just been to the mall, but suddenly in the car park you see a pack of angry dogs here. Yeah, yeah, why don't we just let Jamie show us how to do it? And that is how you win three gold medals in trampolining. Now show me what you got. Higher. 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 Angry Dogs 3, Watterson nil. <laughs> Lesson over. Remind me again exactly why we're at school on a Saturday? Are you kidding me? It's club day. It's the only day of the week when I get to hang out with people I really like. What? what? Uh, gotta go. Okay, see you all back here at five. But wait, I don't have a club to go to. Well, Mom, looks like it's your lucky day. I'm coming with you to your anger management club. Oh, that's sweet, Gumball. But behind this door, I'm a very different person. Trust me, you don't want to see this. Hello, Nicole. Welcome back. Ah! Ah! Could you guys keep it down a little? You keep it down! Hey, Anais, what club are you in? Physics club. Well, today's your lucky day because I'm Let me stop you right there. You know there are different types of intelligence? Yeah. I don't think you have any of them. I don't get it. Exactly. Oh, come on! Oh, let me in! Oh, don't be a club hog! Oh, fine. Dad, can I join your fantasy club? Ooh, be there! It's me, Gumball. Be you orc? No. Be you dwarf? No, I'm your son. Be you bearer of savory snacks for the elders? What? No. Then be gone! <sighs> What's up? Man, there's gotta be a club for me somewhere. You could always join my club. What is it? Synchronized swimming! Hmm, you're
you're good, but I can do better. Here comes the swan dive of eternal beauty! <laughs> so, how graceful was that? Dude, you can't swim. <coughs> Fair point. Uh, has anyone seen my trunks? Yeah! Oh, touchdown! Oh, roar! Slam dunk! Yeah! Uh, hey guys, is this the football club? Yeah! Well, uh, did I miss the game? No, it's going on right out there. Why aren't you playing? Because we're, we're the, the reserve team. team! Cool. So, can I join? I don't know. Are you man enough? <laughs> Me? I'm at least 50% man. Well, in that case, here's your towel. Thanks. So... Do you guys ever get to play? Nah, we just hang out here and act kind of sporty. You guys just take showers, hang around in towels, and high-five each other? <laughs> There's a little bit more to it than that. Club. It can't have anything to do with me, my talent, my intelligence, or my general awesomeness. You know what? Too bad for you jealous people, because I'm starting my own club and you are not invited. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to Gumball's Club of Gumball. First order of business, attendance. Hmm, pretty good. Now, it seems like recently we've been let down by certain family members. So I propose a little exercise in trust. Okay, don't worry, Gumball. Just close your eyes, let yourself fall back, and someone will catch you. Oh, I'm a bit scared, Gumball. <laughs> well, that's why it's called a trust exercise. Come on, dude. Mm, okay. <gasps> dude, things never go this right for us. Something terrible is going to happen, isn't it? Someone's gonna ruin my chance to get a good photo. I can feel it. But who would want to do that? You will pay for this humiliation, Gumbo Watterson. Yes! Uh, paper goes in the recycling bin. Uh, recycle this! <laughs> Well, I don't know who'd want to ruin my photo, but that's the problem. If I can't think of anybody, it could be everybody. I'm scared too, aren't you? Terrified, but my face can't express it. Okay, I think we're safe. Watch out! There's some kind of hobgoblin freak right next to you! What? Where? I wouldn't worry about it, dude. Run! It's hideous! Uh, what are they talking about? Where is it? Trust me, man. You're fine. Wait a minute. He thinks you're the hobgoblin. Sure. I'm the hobgoblin. <laughs> Why am I feeling so tense? Noise. What noise? The one they use in horror films to show something terrible is coming your way. Like that! <laughs> Quick, it's Tina! What's going on with the light? No, no, no! Just keep running! <laughs> Where is she? Tina, you have to be more flexible than that if you want to join the team. Hmm, that was a bit anticlimactic. Yeah. What's going on with the lights, though? Night, day, night, day, night, day. Ah. Well, I'm starting to think there's nothing to ruin my photo after all. <laughs> 
<laughs> I really don't know what we were worried about. It's just a photo. <gasps> Here we go. This is it. Look at him. Come and get us. Oh, smiles. Hiding his fury. Yeah, he definitely won't get even because I whooped his butt earlier. He's gonna do something. What? What? <laughs> How do you defend yourself from the unknown? With a preemptive strike. Hey! <gasps> I am so sorry. We completely overreacted there. I just thought you were gonna stop Shh. me from... It's okay. I understand. It was an accident. Well, not really. I kind of went for it. Could you please flip over that bit of rubber next to your foot? Uh, sure. Why? Because I'm turning the other cheek. Dude, you're so nice, it's actually sickening. Well, now we know that no one is after us, and we're 20 minutes early for your photo. Nothing can stop us now. Come on, Watterson! Where are you? Come on, fight me like a man! <laughs> Right for the first time in my life, I'm actually early. Okay, let's do this. Right. And you're sure you're happy with your weird face because this is the last photo I'm taking of you. <gasps> Ready when you are. Okay then, on three. One, two, uh, yeah. You need to have strong foundations, ideally with a man cave. You also need space. Two stories with a screening room for movie night should do, right? And how about a hot tub for the winter? And a swimming pool for summer? Yeah! Great! Sign this, please. Now, let me talk you through the process. We start with you as you are right now, with a problem. Then we exchange. Then you leave happily. Does that sound good? Yeah, I think so. Great, so let's exchange. Well, it seems we've run out of things to say and... but, but, but I meant to exchange my services for your money. Oh, sorry. Yes, of course. Very good. So, yeah, this never used to happen to us, but now it's like... And now, goodbye. Well, wait, what about all that building a house stuff? Oh, we're building all right. My pool house! Bye! Okay, what if we try something a little more off the charts? No, please, not him. Look, science let us down. We might as well give him a chance. Please, don't say it. No. Please, no! Did someone say alternative medicine? <sighs> so, you're saying you have no wind in your sails? Yes. The train won't leave the station? Yes. The goose is stuck in the hammock? Yes. The potato is wedged in your tailpipe? I'm not sure what we're talking about anymore. You've got trouble talking. Yes. Hmm, I see. I think we need to release the holisticness of your third eye chakras in order to boost your aura and stimulate the flow of chi to your tongue. What does that mean? It means this. How do you feel? Like I got punctured 200 times and set on fire. I meant between the two of you. <gasps> uh, 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 no, still have nothing to say to him. Me neither. Wait, wait, I, I can feel something coming. Yeah, me too. It's like my tongue is tingling. This is small. What's going on? Hmm, that's really weird. I've done this procedure three times before and all my other patients had exactly the same result. <laughs> what are the odds? But don't panic, their lives went back to normal very quickly. <sighs> Once they accepted that this was their life now. You know, Darwin, as that backstreet doctor was violently draining the excess fluid out of our screaming faces using that grease-coated bicycle pump, I had an eye-opening moment. Tell me about it. My eyes are still popping out in shock. No, I mean that man had no diploma. He was just pretending to be a doctor. So? So what if we pretended too? I don't get it. Well, you know how we can't keep up a conversation? Yeah, it goes limper than an animator's handshake. Ah! Exactly. But what if it wasn't us doing the talking? What do you mean? Role-playing. If it works for fedora wizards in some basement, why not us? Who are you gonna be then? I'm Akane Ryuku, a shy anime kawaii girl who likes corgis and friendship. Okay, let's go. Hey. Oh, hey, I'm Akane-chan. I'm not used to talk to people. <laughs> Asterisk blushes and turns away. Congratulations! You've won E-Foam Black Edition! Sukoi! Thank you, Sleeve McDyckel, Senpai. It's the first time someone makes a Kani-chan a present. Asterisk looks away all flustered. 
you want to be friends with Akane? What? Question mark. Equals my message not going through? Chat with me now and win dollars, dollars, dollars. What? Click link and talk. Mm. Dude, what the what were you role playing? A bot. So even Akane's conversation wasn't real? Asterisk bash his head on wall in anguish. Asterisk can realize it hurts a lot more in real life than in writing. Oh, Mom, stop embarrassing me! Oh, it burns! <laughs> My eyes! What was that? Uh, I don't know. Paint? <laughs> ah! Ah! What was that? Uh, chlorine from the pool? <laughs> ah! What was that? Uh, fertilizer? <laughs> oh, I guess it's all right then. But that's still two hours of detention for potentially damaging my beautiful face. Really, Principal Brown, you need to be firmer huh? than that. Oh, okay. Four hours detention. Eight hours? Mm, good. See you in detention, Watterson. Mom, you're not helping. think you look like a dodecadork with your mom at school. <laughs> what does that mean? It's a 12-sided dork, honey. <laughs> mom, you're not helping. Mom, you're not helping. <laughs> Come on, honey, open the tunnel for the choo-choo train. <laughs> mom, you're not helping. <laughs> Tina thing was kind of helpful, but this has gone too far. Wait a minute. I... Uh, thanks. Now, seriously, I need you to stop meddling with my life. I'm not meddling. I'm helping. Helping by meddling. You're just a big meddler. I'm not a meddler. I'm your mother. And a meddler. <laughs> hey, isn't that the girl you like? Mom, no! Uh, excuse me, Penny. Have you got a second? Sure, but you guys will need to be quick. The cheerleader tryouts are about to start. Mom, if you love me, please don't do this. Oh, come on, Gummy Puss. Don't be shy. My baby has something to say to you. <gasps> no, I don't. He'd like to take you out on a date. Uh, that's not true. He loves you. Really? No, I don't! I don't love Penny, and I never will! Gumball? Well... Thanks for being honest with me. No, wait! I meant I'll never love peanuts! No, ponies! <laughs> See what you did? You upset Penny! How am I supposed to get her back? Well, you know, I could help you with That's that. That's enough, okay? That's enough! I'm my own man now. I make my own decisions, and I don't need you babying me any muck! Any muck! Uh, thanks. Now just go home, okay? Oh, come on. We all had a great time, didn't we, Darwin? To be honest, I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Why are you smiling then? Well, at first I was trying not to hurt your feelings, but now I'm just stuck. I beg of you, just get out of my life. Okay, I guess I'll just go home then. She's gone. I'll never smell again. Darwin! Mom, you're back! Yay! Do you know where your brother is? In the changing room. Thanks. Gumball, it's me. Open the door. No! No, I won't! What happened? Oh, it's awful! I made a decision on my own and it was bad. Listen, whatever it is you've done, you need to come out and face it. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm coming out. Oh, you were going to try and get closer to Penny by joining her cheer team, but now you feel embarrassed because you have to wear a skirt. What? No! I'm going to beat Penny at her own game so she'll realize how awesome and manly I am. Then she'll definitely want to date me. Right. So, what's the problem? The problem is me! What if I'm not as good as the other girls? What if they laugh at me? And this leotard makes me look fat, so I put this skirt on to hide my butt. First, we got to get you out of here. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Are you sure about this? Don't worry, you're in safe hands. Ready? Breathe in, breathe out. Ah! Enough! <laughs> hmm, I'm not sure what he sees in that woman. But anyway. Come on, Mr. Robinson, 
Let's show her you still got it. Okay, now go ballistic. I can't, kids. I'm not that man anymore. Then we'll do it for you. Hey, you! Mr. Robinson's wife! Come and have an argument with him! I mean, me! We're gonna have a fight and you're gonna like it! Ha! How do you like my arguing, huh? Do you ain't Graham? Wanna make out? <laughs> oh, you made it worse. I didn't think it was possible, but you made it worse. <laughs> Ah, the ghost! He's about to attack the children! Ah, 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 this is for attacking my kids! And this is for my sausage! Now get out of my Stop garden, it. you Stop have to it. It's Mr. Robinson! Uh, oh, sorry. Ow! Show yourself, ghost of Mr. Robinson! Hey, what's up, neighbor? I've had enough of this family. Your tacky lifestyle, your ugly house, your cheap garden shed! I'll smash it to pieces! <laughs> It's more solid than I thought. But this is what I do to your unfashionable deck chairs! Then as for your crummy thrift store vacuum cleaner, buy cheap! Buy twice! And this is what I think of your two dollar clip-on tie. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Welcome back, Mr. Robinson! Thanks. So, since we saved your marriage and everything, I guess that makes us best friends forever. So can we call you Gaylord instead of Mr. Robinson? Don't push it, kid. Now, take me home, woman. <laughs> What was that all about? Well, there never was a ghost, Dad. It was Mr. Robinson. We hit him in the attic. No! I mean, what's wrong with our house? Our shed and my tie? <sighs> Dad, you know what I do when I feel like a loser? I look at this. Yeah. <sighs> I feel better now. <laughs> Who does he think he is anyway? Two dollar clip on tie. At least I know how to treat my wife. <laughs> <sighs> Richard! Oh, are you ready? Yes. Run that way. <sighs> Welcome to level one. The leap of faith. 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 Leap of faith. Eh, sounds easy enough. <gasps> Oh, did I say the leap of faith? I meant the leap of filth! Oh! Yeah. Oh! You're enjoying us, aren't you? Uh-huh. Forgotten about the kiss yet? No. Then on your feet, Gumball. You really stink. But you're in love. You're gonna take a shower. It's level two. The shower! <laughs> Forgotten yet? About what? How about the kiss? Oh, I had, but you just reminded me. Oh, then welcome to level three. The see-through sack of sweaty cheese! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Forgotten yet? No! <laughs> 
What are you guys doing here? We're your next level. The sounds of suffering. <laughs> the worst. Really? Okay, do it. <laughs> so? So, what? You did what? I carried your suitcase up to your room. Oh, well, good for you, dear. Now bring it back down. My bus will be here any minute. Give me a kiss goodbye and put my bags on the bus. Mm. A little bit faster this time, please. Granny Jojo, Gumball's found his happy place. That's nice, fish kid. Now kiss me goodbye. Granny Jojo! I found my happy place. Yeah, whatever. Now give your Granny Jojo a kiss goodbye. Of course. Gumball, give me a hand with this bag. Okay. It's no use, Darwin. We're gonna be stuck in here forever. The last time I come in here to whistle for you. But if you don't whistle, I can't go. I never thought it would end like this. Stuck in a bathroom forever. At least we've had some pretty good times. And some crummy ones, too. Look, Darwin, if we don't get out of here, there's something I need to tell you. <gasps> Remember that time they found a creepy picture in your school book and you said you didn't do it? Well, that was me. What? I had to go to counseling for that. I lost my whole summer. I'm sorry, dude. Mr. Small put me in an isolation tank. Well, let's not dwell on the past. <gasps> Gumball, there's something I haven't told you, too. And it's probably going to shock you. What? Is it really bad or something? It's pretty bad, yeah. Last week... Oh, man, I'm so glad it's you. I thought this place was haunted by a couple of screaming girls. We're, We're saved. saved! How long have we been here? About three minutes. Oh, uh, wait, what were you going to say back there, by the way? Huh? You were going to say something, remember? Oh, don't worry about that now. We're free. <laughs> I love this game. It's so much fun. Yep. Hey, you know what else was fun? When we were stuck in the bathroom and you were going to tell me that secret. Yeah, that was fun. Just out of curiosity, what was that little secret? It's better you don't know. Sure, but I told you mine, therefore I think it's better you tell me yours. Nah, let's just play instead. Yeah, let's just play. Look at him standing there, knowing his secret. I'll get it out of him. It's the last thing I do. Wow, you're pretty good at this. End it. Gumball wins. There you go, old pal. What's the occasion? Can't the guy just make a meal for his best buddy? 
This hasn't got anything to do with the secret, has it? Secret? No. What secret? Hmm. You're giving me this food, so I'll tell you the secret, aren't you? Am I? Aren't you? <sighs> Did you do something to this food? I don't know. <laughs> Did I? <gasps> Sorry, excuse me? <laughs> Tap's a little tight, eh? <laughs> Looks like we're all out of drinks. Oh, wait, what's this? You want it? What's the secret? Oh, well. of a liar looks like. Ew. Notice the dark abyss here. That's the corrupt soul of the liar. But Mr. Small, we're not liars. Huh. You should tell that to the last boy that sat there and lied to me. He's there now. The prison? No, next to it. The cemetery? What happened to him? He just works there. <sighs> now, let me show you something. This is the lying hat. Now, watch what happens when I put it on. Your mother called. Oh. She says she hates you. <gasps> she does? I think my heart just broke. It's okay, kids. That was a lie. <sighs> but you see, that's what a lie will do. Hurt your feelings. She hates you. Aww. She loves you. Yay. Hates you. <laughs> loves you. Yay. Hates you. <laughs> loves you. Hates you. Loves you. Hates you. Hates you. Hates you. Hates you. Hates you. <laughs> so, what do we learn today? Never trust a man in a hat. Yes, but what else? Uh... Honesty is the best policy. Oh. Say it. Honesty, Honesty is, the is the best policy. policy. Good. And again. Honesty, Honesty is, the is the best policy. policy. Honesty, Honesty is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. Okay, Darwin, remember, from now on, we only tell the truth. Okay. Your face is too big. <gasps> Well, when you say us, your gills whistle. You smell so stinky, sailors sing sea shanties about your stinkiness. When you're asleep, your face looks like this. When you're awake, your face looks like this. You walk like a princess. You walk like a pigeon. OK, that's us covered. Let's bring our honesty to the world. You've got a monobrow. You've got no hands. Just being honest, your face is burnt. <gasps> I love you. Well, he'll never make the first move. <laughs> He's having a party on Friday, and he didn't invite you. What? Sorry, man. You're just not cool enough. Whoa. This one is long overdue. Hey, Tina. You smell, and it's not very ladylike. It's like a sweaty watch strap. Nah, it's more like raw chicken and rancid milk in a plastic bag. Yeah, that's been left in the sun for a week. OK, now that we have your smelliness covered, let's move on to your personality. Ow. Yep. <sighs> the truth hurts. Oh, no. I'll die, girl. Let's leave all this behind and go and live on a desert island. But how would we survive? On fruit, water, and love. <clears throat> Did you ask us in here for a reason? Yes, of course, Watterson. I've been getting a lot of complaints. What on earth's gotten into you? Principal Brown, can I be honest with you? Uh, I... yes. I can't help thinking that your relationship with Miss Simeon could be compromising your professionalism. 
I completely agree, Gumball. And frankly, I fear my education is suffering as a result. And besides, Principal Brown, you could do so much better than that. <laughs> okay, so you got honesty wrong. Perhaps we should try something else. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. Uh, one second. <clears throat> Hello, children. I'm the Honesty Bear. Okay. 24 hours? Oh, this is horrible! All the things I wanted to do in my life! All my plans! Ruined! Ruined! <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. 24 hours is actually quite a long time. Hey, you're right. I mean, how many minutes are there in an hour? Like, 60? So, that's like 60 times 24, which is... Three billion seconds! That's like ages! Well, we've got to make every second count. You know, Darwin, I've never asked you, but what do you want to do with your life? What are your hopes and dreams? Who is Darwin Watterson? Well, I guess what makes me happy is helping other people who are less fortunate than ourselves due to circumstances beyond their control. So I'd like to start a charity for... Where are you going? Dude, I don't think the end of the world is time to get charitable. And besides, you're getting kind of boring. I think we'd be better off doing some of the things I want to do. Darwin, what are we doing here? Learning cards, so we can get a career, a home, and feed our children in the future. Darwin, there is no future. We need to make the most of it right now, not listen to some baboon drone on about algebra. Uh, Gumbo, this is biology. Oh, who cares? It won't matter in 24 hours. Kiss me, Penny. <coughs> I've got a surprise for you today, children. A surprise test! <laughs> well, I got a surprise for you. I'm not gonna do the test because it's the end of the world and nothing matters anymore. Not even this! <gasps> How's that for a surprise? <laughs> so come on, everybody. Let's turn our last day on Earth into the biggest party ever! Okay, on second thoughts, spending three hours in detention wasn't the best use of our time. Ugh, I'm gonna be late for my wedding now. Wedding? Yes, Darwin, my wedding. By the power of the banana, it is my duty to ask if there's anyone here who sees any reason why Gumbo and Penny should not be joined in marriage. Speak now, or forever hold your peace. Actually, I've got more than one reason. Firstly, I'm 12, and so are you. Secondly, you didn't even propose to me. You're just trying to marry me in the school corridor. Hey, guys. Happy wedding. And finally, this is not a wedding ring. It's a bagel. But you know what? That shouldn't stop you from asking me again in 20 years. <gasps> but you don't have 20 years. Shh. I love her too much to let her know the truth. Hey, want to get married? Gumball, why do you have a perm? It's just something I've always wanted to do. So, Mom, under normal circumstances, how long do you reckon I'm going to live for? Well, your grandfather lived to be 102, so I wouldn't worry, sweetie. Hmm, that's at least 90 more birthday presents. Mom, I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I want to combine all of my birthday presents into one manageable lump present. So can I have a pony after dinner? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. Do you want a tutu with that? <laughs> if I get you a pony, you'd get bored of it in a day. Not an issue. Okay, I'll get you a pony. Thank you, finally. As soon as your father starts laying golden eggs. I haven't given up yet. <sighs> I thought there was going to be a cake or something. This surprise is going to be better than a cake. I'm giving you reconciliation with your father. Oh, man. I should have known it was something lame like that. Nobody invites people to eat cake in a junkyard. Go on, tell me your plan, then. It's simple. We get picked up by that magnet and get dropped into Rat Rapture. What? Are you insane? And I've got Dak to come and rescue us. What? Are you insane? Don't worry. I can stop it at any time with this remote. Oh, I thought you were relying on Dad there for a minute. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Oh, great job! What are we gonna do now? It's okay. Here's Dad now. He can stop it. 
from that control box. I've got it to save you. Here we go. We're doomed. Don't worry. Have some faith in him. Boys, where are you? Up here. How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, I don't know. How about you get us down using that ladder right there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow, really thought that one through, didn't you? Oh. What is wrong with you? Don't you know people have feelings? He's trying to help us. Well, great job he's doing so far. You are so insensitive. Would it really hurt you to encourage him once in a while? You can encourage a clam to read all you want, but that's not going to get it into college. People have limits, and Dad reached his own a long time ago. Don't worry, kids. I have an idea. <laughs> I'm glad you guys made up. Come on, dinner's ready. Who did this? Those kids! I'm gonna get you for this! Come out! Stop calling the cellar! Oh no, they know we wrecked the car. What do you mean you wrecked the car? <laughs> Dad? Hi. Daisy, Daisy the donkey. Mom? Why are the Robinsons talking to the sheriff on our lawn? I don't know, sweetie. I think we'll just go around the back. I tell you, Sheriff, it was those kids next door, as sure as I... What? We just touched it with the sponge and it fell apart. So we decided to hide here forever. <laughs> Such a sad story. But it's not true. You see, it was 9 o'clock this morning and... <laughs> Come on, Electrofat. Make me beautiful! Oh, Mr. Robinson's new car. Oh, okay. It's just a dink. I'll bang it out. This may take a while. There! Finished! So you see, it was my fault, not yours. What should we do now? Well, I think the most responsible thing to do is to hide here forever and never let your mother find out what happened. I already know. Ah! Honey? But it's not quite what you think. It was 9 o'clock this morning and... Wait, can I do this? Yay! Put the tape on, Mom. 
Yes, honey. Where is it? Here. They parked right in front of our lawn. I just didn't see it. I was about to tell Mr. Robinson, but... Horrible mother. <sighs> so, we went to see the show. And it was great! So there, it was mostly my fault. I'm so relieved. It was a family effort. Darn it! I know they're up there! Get in there and arrest those vandals! I know without a warrant, sir. Ah! I pay my taxes, and that pays your salary! Ergo, I'm your boss! Now get in there and do your job! Please, sir, calm down. All right. I suppose I shall have to take matters into my own hands, huh? Well, here come the Robinsons. Poor Mr. Robinson. We wrecked his beautiful new car, and nobody has the courtesy to apologize. We should be ashamed of ourselves! So let's get out there and apologize, as a family. <sighs> okay. <gasps> this is what happens when you mess with Gaylord. This is what happens. This is what happens. This is what happens. They look kind of angry, Gumball. Please stop. Please. Please, ma'am, drop the duster. Please. No, ma'am. No. No. Ah! <laughs> No, sir! No, please! Maybe we should give them time to calm down. So, uh, do you want to press charges? <laughs> no, uh, I'm sure they learned their lesson. It's too bad you have to live next to such monsters. Don't worry, Mr. Robinson. We'll look after your house while you're gone. <laughs> Such a great guy. Well, there's one important thing we learned today. Huh? That electro fat machine was worth every penny. Darwin! Where do you think you're going? Uh, buy some stuff? At the shop? What are you doing? He's your son! <laughs> I'm sorry, little guy. From now on, I'll always be there for you. <laughs> Darwin, I think he's ready for his first steps. Wait! Go ahead. Come on, don't be shy. Come to Daddy. Aw, he's kind of got my eyes. Don't you think? <laughs> ah! Got my for too! Dude, what babies do is just suckling. It's not suckling, it's baby! Okay, relax, he's just playing. He'll come off on his own. Okay, that's enough, bad baby! Stop mauling your father and get back in your jar this instant! He's got my dad! I know what it is. He must be hungry. Okay, so it doesn't like fruits, vegetables, or cereal. But it does like pigeons, rats, raccoons, seagulls, and the mailman's butt. What was all that noise? What are you two up? Ah! What is that thing? It's our baby. What are you talking about? Where did you find it? It came out of the microwave. Are you sure it didn't come out of the toilet? It's disgusting. They always look a bit funny when they're just born. He's actually very advanced for his age. You should have seen him catch that seagull. What? You put that monster out? Look, I was trying to be nice here, but you better stop insulting our child or I don't know what I'll do. It's not a child. And what is it doing in my high chair? <gasps> don't listen to her, Kenneth. She's just jealous. You called it Kenneth? Baby needs a name. Look, like it or not, you're Kenneth's aunt. Now, we're gonna buy more pigeon traps. You babysit. Are you crazy? Where do you think you're... Ugh. I guess you're kind of ugly cute. What kind of animal are you? Wow, those are pretty pointy teeth. What the... <laughs> Kenneth, we're home! Oh, what a mess. Where's the knives? Yeah, I knew she'd bail. Gumball, has Kenneth grown? Grown into a troublemaker? This place is a mess! Naughty Kenneth! Parcel for the water sheds! Did Kenneth just eat the mailman? Oh, no, 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 that's not possible. Not my Kenneth. Well, where is he then? What do I know, mailing? I'm more worried about Kenneth. Does it look to you like he's gaining weight? I'm more worried about his attitude. 
This boy needs discipline. <sighs> I think we need parental advice. So, um, we're doing this school project. Uh-huh. And uh, we've got to look after this uh, gross dog thing. I'm with you. And we need your help disciplining it. Okay. It's pretty simple. Kind of like children, actually. The first thing you have to do is let it know you're the pack leader. So, you look them in the eyes and tell them firmly you're the boss. Now, you've been a naughty doggy. <laughs> Dad, he's got your finger. Well, that's to be expected, son. The best thing to do is to remain calm and reassert your authority. Yeah, but it seems to be eating your arm. <laughs> it's just testing its boundaries. The worst you can do is give it attention for negative behavior. I have always found that a positive reinforcement approach is the best food of Dad! You're not saying Dad! It's probably on ice, too! We've got to save them! <laughs> It won't be so bad. I'll just meet Tina in a quiet, calm atmosphere, and we'll talk things through like civilized people. Yeah, this is a great idea. This is a terrible idea. What's going on here? I'll have no fighting on my watch. Oh, Gumball Watterson, I might have known. Oh, thank you, Miss Simeon. Oh, I was gonna fight a T-Rex. Please send me to detention. Well, I suppose I could. After my coffee break. But, Miss Simeon, Tina, come in. Coffee break? <laughs> but, Miss Simeon, you're my last hope. Please. <laughs> fight, 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 fight. <gasps> uh oh. Here. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Use the bunny hop, son. Son, 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 son. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I wasn't going to miss the big fight. Gumball. Time to deal with this like a man. Gumball, stop running. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea what you're saying. Sorry. removing your glasses when you're at the table? Uh, yes. <sighs> <gasps> what happened to you? I ran into a door. That's not true. He's being bullied. Seriously, I did run into a door. <laughs> Come! I just need a word with Mr. Rex, honey pie. Come on. <gasps> Sit! You guys make up! <sighs> Mr. Rex! Hi, Mr. Rex. We need to talk about your daughter. <laughs> so it's going to be like that, is it? Well, that's fine by me. Your dad is pretty scary. So's your mom. Uh, Tina, is it true that you're bullying me? What? Hey! 
You know, there are easier ways to hurt your eyes. You could pour salt in them while you stare at the sun, for example. I'm sorry, Carrie. It's just I promised Anais we'd do something she wanted today. We didn't realize how unbearable it'd be. And we haven't even watched it yet. Come on, we're already late. <laughs> oh, man, we're gonna get the face when we get home. What, this one? No, that's Silent Fury. What we're gonna get is I Know You Let Me Down. Oh. That's it, but don't forget the slow head shake. I can handle that, as long as we don't get the you mean nothing to me back turn. Don't worry. As long as nothing gets in our way, we'll be fine. What? Uh, don't you think you should help that guy? You clearly took the cover off. So? You guys are way closer. That means it's your problem. Uh, can I get a little help here? Listen, man, we'd love to help, but we're kind of in a hurry. Well, I'm kind of in a manhole. Which you wouldn't be stuck in if you weren't quite so... What, fat? No, what I meant was... Voluptuous, flesh rich, horizontally tall... Distracted! I was going to say distracted. I think you're a beautiful man. Still, what kind of bozo runs around not looking where he's going, blindly texting on his phone? I wasn't texting. I was updating my status so everyone knows I'm jogging. Why? To get those little thumbs up on Elmo Plus. All right, let's get you out of here, you attention hog. You're doing the face, aren't you? Why are you late? <laughs> well, funny story, uh, we are helping the guy out of a manhole, and we... No need to lie. It's obvious you guys don't want to watch the movie with me. Oh, no, that's not true. I can't wait to watch some princess trying to tame a stupid pony just to impress some foppish prince from Luxembourg! Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. It's just my brain refuses to let me lie about this film. Just hurry up, okay? Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? Ah! There. Whose problem is it now? Dude, we need to get home. She's already hit a force five on the guilt trip scale. Gumbo, Darwin! What's up, guys? Hey! Rich? Did you just call me Rich like it was a question? Ha! <laughs> Did I say Rich? I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I'm into your name. Which is. <laughs> <laughs> Which is. <sighs> Rob! My name is Rob! Rob! Of course, man, I'm sorry. Hey, listen, we're in a massive hurry, but we should totally hang out soon. I'll, I'll call you, bro. You don't have my number. You don't remember me at all, do you? And this, this is just some hollow promise. Dude, it's not that. We've just been distracted because, uh, <laughs> the funniest thing happened. See that hole? <laughs> Darwin! I can't believe you just did that! Did what? Uh, uh, I don't remember. <sighs> Dad, am I boring? Of course not, sweetie pie. Then why don't Gumball and Darwin want to hang out with me? Uh, uh, think, Richard, think. Your little girl is feeling insecure. This is a real parenting situation. What you say now could affect her for the rest of her life. So say the right thing. Say the right thing. The right thing! What? Speak to your mother! I... I gotta stop, man. Uh, I can't keep running like that. Come on, you can do it. It's all in the mind. Uh, you don't understand. My legs have given up. I even have a cramp in my bones. Your legs haven't given up. You have. You think? You should try walking in my shoes for once. Is that a challenge? You should be happy to be young. Before you know it, you'll be overweight, unattractive, balding, middle-aged. <laughs> Take over breakfast! I don't want you to see me like that! What's his problem? Eh, you never know with that guy. Come on, let's have breakfast. Man, what a pile of beans. <gasps> Dude, watch your language! You'll get us in trouble! Well, I'm sorry, Darwin, but it is. It's a big, steaming pile of beans. <gasps> Come on, look! A shooting star! This is our chance. Make a wish. I wish I was a grown-up. Me too. Nah, that didn't work at all. Ugh! Ow! Baker! Oh, darn kid, what do y'all think you're doing? Today's lesson will be about the transformations of the human body. As you get older, hormones begin to change your appearance. Here. 
It's me as an adult talking to my secretary over the intercom. It's me voting. Awesome. Passing notes, are we? No, Miss Simeon. Well, what? What's this? Uh, that's us as adults? I guess you're on topic then. Anyway, pimples. Yeah. My hands. Actually, it's pretty gross. You may continue. Ew. Pimples, or actually, can pop up at any time. Dude, what's that on your face? What? What? That. What? It looks like a greasy yellow egg. No, no, actually, it's more like a small volcano with a sweaty golf ball. Do something! Do something! Okay, okay hold on. Let me just... Um... <sighs> I think we're gonna need more little hats. Ah! Just relax, dude. That's easy for you to say. Why don't you have any? <laughs> just lucky, I guess. Ah! 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 Oh! Ow! Ooh! Ah! I think that's all of them. Uh, what's happening to us? I think we've got the plague. Do you have any other symptoms? My top lip feels a little silky. Next comes the appearance of hair on the body and face. <laughs> Dude, you look like an undercover cop. <laughs> Stop laughing! Do something! Okay. I see mom do this all the time. And dad on one occasion. Uh. <sighs> that feels so much better. <laughs> ah! Don't worry, dude. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about you. You look like a baby werewolf. No, not me. It was better when it was just you. But this is the girls' toilet. Uh, yeah, sorry. We gotta sort this out. Start chewing. Okay, settle down. Everyone get into your team for dodgeball. Oh, no, not dodgeball. You're going down. You get the idea. Please, not above the show. Ah! <laughs> Enough. <gasps> oh. <laughs> didn't get a new haircut. <gasps> no, I'm not desperately trying to get noticed for waxing my mustache. <gasps> no, I haven't had my dentures widened, and I don't wear dentures. And by the way, I can plainly see you're all miming, so just man up and ask. What do we do wrong? <laughs> it might be that a certain someone forgot a certain something. Uh, you're being a bit hypocritical here. You can't be angry at someone for forgetting something if you can't even remember their name or what they forgot. It's fine. No need to make a fuss about it. I got it. There must be some secret fuss that I shouldn't know about. No, there is no fuss. <laughs> no fuss. <laughs> got it. No, seriously, there is no fuss. You just said you didn't want a fuss. Also, what is all this fuss about? Sure, you didn't organize any fuss. I'm not bluffing. There's no fussing. <gasps> oh, I wonder who this could be. Oh, a singogram. Uh, hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. This is from the IRS. You better pay it. They're getting serious. Your home will be repossessed. There you go. What? I know it! Yay! <laughs> Even acupuncture couldn't save him. <sighs> it 
It's a special day. Oh. Get 25% off at Dave's Skywriting Emporium? Wait, so you really haven't organized anything? Oh, okay. It's all right. It's quite all right, really. Don't make a fuss. Okay, then. <sighs> Something about her body language tells me she doesn't mean that. Yep. Pack your bags, we're about to go on the round-the-world guilt trip, unless we figure out what we should be making a fuss about. <sighs> Dirty socks and filthy clothes When all I wanted was a sweet red rose And how could anyone forget or fail to see why I'm upset He made me laugh with things he said But now he can't remember the day we... Ah! Gumbo! Put out the fire! Ah! No, no! <laughs> the song! Finish the song! No, a certain someone should know why today is important. Why did you say we shouldn't be making a fuss if you get all angry about it when we don't? No need to make a fuss is a thing people say, but they obviously don't mean it. It's all in the subtext, like when someone says, I'm only two minutes away. We should stay in touch. Or, it's fine, honey. Uh, okay. So are you gonna tell us what we should be celebrating? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. She can stay, but... Oh, thank you! You're such a kind and friendly family! You know, I've never had friends before. I don't even know what friends do. Don't worry. We'll show you. Now, a very important part of friendship is sharing. Imagine you both have ice creams. Oh! But what's this? Darwin has dropped his ice cream. I said, Darwin has dropped his ice cream. <laughs> you got it on my shoes. And do you want to share mine? Very good. Ice cream, Darwin! Oh, thanks! But Gumbo, you don't have an ice cream! Want to share mine? Sure. Oh. Dude, this is so gross. Why don't you pretend you have your own ice cream? Ugh. Why didn't I think of that? Friends also high five. Like this. High, high five. five! Okay, now it's. No, I meant slap my. Let's move on to the next lesson. How about we all play a game? Like friends do. Here's one we made up. It's called Dodge, Dodge or Dare! Dare. Roll the dice. Pick a card. What What'd you get? Put a gooey hairball in Miss Simeon's lunch. Huh. Let me take that. Pick another. When Miss Simeon's back is turned. Ah, actually, let me pick one for you. Oh, come here, Simeon. Slug juice. Drop water balloons on Simeon. Miss Simeon. Miss Simeon. Miss Simeon. <laughs> Forget the cards. Here's a dare. Make the most annoying noise possible. <laughs> okay. That was good. Good, but we know that you can do better. Like when you're mad at us. Oh, you mean this little thing? Gumbo! That was awesome! High five! That still needs a little work. I've got my eye on you, Simeon. <laughs> do it again, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pleased to finally have such great friends! Uh, we, we love, love you, Miss Simeon. Simeon. Sorry, kids. Miss Simeon, can I have a word with you in private, please? Yes, Nicole. How can I help you? Listen, Simeon. You might have the rest of them fooled, but I don't trust you for a second. I remember you from school. I remember the horrible name you used to call me every day. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. And I'm sorry. What? I was that horrid person for so long. And look where it got me. 
No friends, no family, just bitterness and wrinkles. But even an old ape can change. Will you give me that chance? Oh, I don't know. It's all happening so fast. Please. Oh, okay, I'll I'll give it another shot. What do we do now, best friends? Ah, uh, let's see. I know. Best friends write letters to each other about how great they are. Wow, what a friendly idea. What shall we write? Uh, how about we the aforementioned unanimously agree that Miss Savine is worthy of this year's favorite teacher award? Favorite teacher award. Okay, done it. <laughs> it's mine! she is. And that's the power of friendship. Day, but that's okay, because it's nothing a good song won't fix. When life hands you lemons, you gotta make some lemonade. <gasps> Darwin, stop it already. It's getting embarrassing. Come on! How's it going? Ah, oh, it's great. Except for the fact that this is turning out to be the worst day of my life! <clears throat> it's like I'm cursed or something. Watterson, this school has a dress code. These rags are obscene. Get to Lost and Found. They'll provide you with something more suitable. But Principal Brown... Uh -huh. <sighs> there you go. Much better. You've got to be kidding me. I'm sorry, dude, but this isn't a department store, you know. Oh, Rocky, there's got to be something else. You're in luck! People think I'm a fruit, but I'm also classified as an herb. What? <laughs> Where did you get your clothes? Lost and found? <laughs> well, actually, yes, I did. Oh. Uh, hey, where did you get your clothes? The circus? <laughs> Dude, we kind of just went over this already. Lost and found. Oh. Hey, where did you get your clothes? The swim shop and the hat shop? <laughs> 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 Where did you get your brain from? The dollar store? Seven hours detention for hurting my feelings. What? But... I'll see you after school. Fine. Ow! Oh, paper cut! <laughs> uh, Gumball, are you okay? Everything's great, Darwin. Everything's just peachy. Oh! Darwin! Don't take everything I say so literally! Okay... What about what you just said now? Should I take that literally? Uh, no. Yes! No! I don't know! <laughs> Talk to me. I think I'm cursed. Hmm... Then what you need is a good luck charm. Guys! There are no such things as lucky charms, curses, or tickets falling from the sky. There must be a scientific explanation for what's happening to Gumball, like there is for everything. Oh, yeah? How does your science explain the magic of rainbows, then? Huh? Diffraction of light through moisture in the atmosphere. It's a sad world you live in. Come on, Gumball. Darwin, how will I know if it's a four-leaf clover? Simple. They've got four leaves, and they're extremely rare. Rare? They're one in a million. Rarer than the rarest found one. Top of the morning to you. Ooh. I can already feel my luck changing. Hey, look, a lucky book. Oh, man. Ow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you 
please welcome to the stage our second and final act, Mr. Gaylord Robinson! Good luck, Dad! <clears throat> Up till now, my life's been good. Treated me well. I can't complain. Met a woman, raised a kid, and every day just felt the same. But there's something deep inside of me that always wanted to be free. And now I think the time is right to show you what I mean. I want to sing, I want to dance, I want to touch the sky with my own two hands. If I sing to the world, it'll set me free and let me be who I want. Dance, dance and sing. I'm gonna give What's it my you doing? Everything. I don't know, but it's pretty good. Now's our chance to assess me. As I whisk you off to a wonderland, I'll hip hop and jive with my heart. Did Gumball see any of that? Stand up, up to the rock and the roll. I'll Maybe you noticed the trap door. I'll fly like a bird if you set me free, like the skylark on the wing. A rosebud in the spring, like a gangster in his bling, like fish bait from a sling, like a puppet with no string, like an English feudal king, like all those kinds of wonderful, wonderful things. Show yourself assassin and fight like a man! Let's try the special effects. Under the seat? Whoa, who is this guy? That's my dad! Rock and dude! I wanna be Gluteus Maximus. Hey, Bobbert, what you doing? I'm on the internet, the largest source of knowledge in the world. Why don't you get connected? Uh, hi, hello, is that the internet? <sighs> you need to click the icon. Hey, you need to click the icon. Which one is the icon? Dude, it's the only thing on the screen. I knew that. I had to reboot you. Oh, come on. There's got to be something in this library making people smart. This is such a great book. I'd like to borrow this book, please. Book, 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 book,
Christian books. Hey, shh. Hey, shh. Hey, shh. I think my book is broken. I've been watching it for ages and I'm still not smart. You don't watch books, you read them. Shh. People are trying to work. Okay, Brain, let's get reading. <gasps> Once upon a time. That's it. I'm out of here. I've had enough. I'm off to watch TV. Hey, where do you think you're going? I didn't sign up for this. I quit. You can't quit. There's no way I'm going to pass a test without a brain. Please, I need you. We'll never pass. I'm stupid. Then, then I am going to make you smart. Like Darwin! Uh, sir, you appear to have a bit of ink on your face. Are you sure there's nothing else you want, honey? Ask for anything! Well, uh, can I have two cans of soda? Quick, Richard, the fridge! Oh, and some jelly beans! But only the yellow ones! Okay! Uh, are you sure there's nothing else to wear, Mrs. Watterson? Please, honey. You can call us Mom and Dad. <laughs> Read it! I can't! Read it! It's so difficult! Nah, don't make me! Aren't you tired of being so useless? Years and years of insults and abuse. Remember. I never asked for you, people! Do <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Then prove it. This may take a while. I was a feeble-minded guy. I'd slip on ice and wonder why. So many obstacles were thrown my way. On a downward slide each and every day. But something popped inside my brain. I got up to fight that fight again. And I knew what to do. I went through the mental pain. You gotta think big, think deep. Pretty soon you'll make that quantum leap. Think big, think smart. Make your brain your finest body part. The greatest man.